Hello and welcome to episode 23 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on starting the quest Monster in the Lake. I am also going to try something new. Instead of 30 minute episodes I will try 15 minute episodes and see how it works out. As I know a lot of people have slow internet so this might help them. If there is more I want to uh, cover I will do so in a second episode in that same day. Trial and error. My Trial and error, my good people. Before I begin, I want to thank Wayne for pointing out that most <clears throat> that you must continually check your colony buildings as they take a lot of damage and need frequent repair. So thank you, Wayne, for that information. Anyway, so doing this monster in the lake. First thing I'll do is put on my backpack and then jump off here. Now, this was a long way over, so I thought I would get us over here and then load it up from here. If we look at the map you'll see it was all the way over here from the colony. So anyway let's get down on the ground and get this monster in the lake started. Now this is a tricky quest to get updated I've noticed. I've had to try it a few times. Um, eventually I did manage to do it on my third or fifth att fifth attempt anyway I'm going to try we'll see what happens see if it updates correctly now where has Agnes gone oh she's been bringing a nice All friend right, over here we are. Yeah, nice one, Agnes. Just what we needed. Some hostile. Now, this hadn't happened to me previously. <laughs> it's like every time I try this quest, something different happens. And this is a tough creature. We're hardly damaging it at all. Oh, goodness sake. Right, okay. Hopefully, they can keep it busy. I just need the update from Agnes. So let's talk to her. Well, I was thinking. Follow me on this, okay? You go in the water, attract the animal with a special lure, then maybe hit it a few times to scare it off. I'm hoping that it'll swim towards its nest, and that might lead us to some new discoveries. What do you think? It does. Here's the lure, and here's a scoop of mouth that'll allow you to stay in the water longer. Whenever you're ready, we'll go to a deep part of the lake and the lure. We'll see what happens. Yeah, right. And it'll probably start with me dying. Uh, let's heal. Let's get into the water and see if this big nasty swims. Okay, right, now... You would have heard her say that she has given me a um, scuba mask, so I'll put that as number seven. Okay, so we got to swim out here into the lake where this big fish is. We don't know if it's aggressive, so we're basically acting as bait. <clears throat> but we will see if we can get this quest done. Okay, so you've got to swim out here all the way. And there we go, there's the point, the update point. Now, I found the best way to trigger this quest, if it doesn't update, is to run out of oxygen. As daft as that may sound, it's the only way I could get this quest to progress. So, let's go into this circle. When you get in here, you drop a lure on the ground. Then she says, follow it. Okay, so what you have to do is follow the quester pointer and to over here where there's a deep hole I'm purposely letting my oxygen run low because like I say that's how you can get this to update so we go to over here now hopefully because my oxygen's running Wait. Let's go up for air first. There you go. That's the update that you need to go up for air. 
So go up for air. Let's switch to the scuba mask, which gives us longer breathing under the water. So once you've got that update, put your scuba mask on. And now what we do is we look for Agnes wherever she's disappeared to to get the next update. So I think she's gone back down here. This really is a nightmare because if I don't get the update I'll have to do it all again. And that means record all again. Okay, so sometimes she goes above, sometimes she goes below. Let's swim up and see if she's above the water. Okay, let's check the map. So, it's still behind me. Okay, another telltale sign. Oh, there's the big fish. Is looking for her in the um, in this map where her little blue dot is. Anyway, so let's go down here. It's all murky. I apologise if you can't see that well. I can't see that well either. Which is why I end up swimming into walls. Let's try swimming this way. Ah, oh, there she is. There's a dot. See it in the map? Right, okay. So, what we've got to do... Get some air. So, we've got to go back up and talk to her on the land. So let's swim up and go find her. So when it says get some air, make sure you come out of the water and back over to here to get the next update from her. That nasty still there. Okay, so what is this, this place? This is a glacial lake that formed during an ice age several hundred thousand years ago. It's actually kind of barren, without a lot of fish. That's why it's strange to see such a large species swimming around. I think so. It's possible, I guess. But I think there's more to it than that. There has to be other food sources around here. Okay, so... Next... We go to That's a truly interesting question. I don't know. You know, this has been troubling me since we started taking better pictures of this place as we decelerated. The orbifor to carnivore ratio is completely out of whack. It's around ten to one on Earth. On this planet it's like three to one. How did so many species evolve from creatures, and how can that be sustainable? I plan to find all of that out over time. Exciting, isn't it? Oh, so annoying that creature. I bet there's an underground lake down there. Whenever you're ready, let's go check it out. Right. Okay. Where's the fun in that? Let's get out of here. Oh, it's nearly killed me. Let's heal before it does. At least it can't swim. That's about the only good news I'm getting so far. Right, at least I got the update. So you had to walk a bit further inland to get that update from her for this to change into the fish nest. So now we've got to swim down here. Keeping an eye on her little blue pointer because she'll well, show. There, there we a go. Lot of life forms down here. Let's look around. Okay, so update that. Now, she should be around somewhere. Ah, there she goes. So you swim over here to her, where you'll see this little thing on the ground. Talk again. Look at those crabs on the cave wall. I'm going to try to capture some samples. Okay, here's where there's more fighting. So you need to put down your sentry guns. It's the only way 
you're going to beat these fish because you can't use your laser. Okay, it's important that you grab what they drop because you need it for an update to this quest. So make sure you do. Grab everything. There's three of them that will attack. There we go. Grab all of everything that they drop, like I say. Oops. You've got to kill all three before you get this update. Maybe it had something to do with the grubs. Now I'm very intrigued. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so she's saying now we've got to get out the water. So we grab all of this. I'll grab my guns back. I need to get more ammunition because I've nearly run out. Well, I have run out, in fact. Okay, now we've got to swim back out of the water. Okay, if we check the map, um, we've got to get back out of the water over here. Oh, I'm so going to kill that thing there. It's really messing with me while I'm trying to do this quest. Let's put down the big guns. That'll take care of it. If I live long enough. So, do that. Come out of that. Oh, I didn't place it. Right. Come out that. Put that down, there you go, have some of that, and because these guns don't use ammunition, they are absolutely fantastic, if you can get them placed inside. Yeah, right. Okay, so we've got a quest update. Fish parts. We need to get three fish teeth and three pieces of the scales. Is that still not dead? Okay, while that's shooting them up and making a heck of a lot of noise, let's go update the quest. So, where has Agnes gone? Oh, there she is. See, now, because we collected them parts, the creature bit parts, we can update the quest. That's why I said to grab them. Now, hopefully them guns will kill that thing that's over there. I think she's attracted the fish, that's for sure. Okay, let's update. Oh, don't swim off. Where are you going, you silly person? Oh, for goodness sake. Great. You didn't have too much trouble, did you? Yes, I had a load of trouble. Were you running off? And that other creature attacking me. Okay, so to carry on the quest. Okay, here's the interesting part. I was assuming the Deu species was something like a cavefish back on Earth with terrible eyesight and all that. But no, they're nothing like cave fish. They're just regular freshwater fish. So, something or some event drew them deep into the underground lake and they've been surviving on these larvae ever since. I wonder what happened. 
Oh, there's the 15 minute timer. Whatever's rising them underground couldn't have happened that long ago since the fish have yet to adapt to underground life. And that's why we still see them in the lake sometimes. There might be some fossil or bone fragments from deceased members of the species in the lake bed. Maybe if you get me some of that, I can do a comparative DNA analysis to see if there are any differences. Okay, so I'm going to quickly finish this quest because I am nearly done. We've got to get the fish bones, which is back out here in the water. Did they manage to kill that annoying, annoying creature? Yeah, they did. That was one tough. You know what? Anyway, and it wasn't even worth that much. Anyway, let's go. Oh, and it destroyed one of my guns. Oh. Right, so let's go get this fish bone and get this quest finished. And I'm not going to record a 25th time or 5th time or how many ever times it is. Uh, just because I lost one of my guns. That I'll just have to buy another one. So you go back out into the lake once you get this fish bone. You'll see there's an area marked for you to find it. Here it is down here. Swim down. Grab it by right clicking. Swim back. Thankfully she's back in the right place. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, let's turn that down and talk to Agnes. Here you go, fish bones. Thank you. And talk to her again. And anything interesting? Well, there seems to be some extra DNA in the time ago. My but from what I can see. Now, where's she going? What's she going to do? Attack? Run off? get updated uh, okay so that's that big fish quest finished and she's going to now give us another quest which is what he told me what mentioned and this will be the next episode so I'm going to end the episode here and I'll talk to her once I've killed that wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day Goodbye.